the, the NHS was particularly important in terms of developing friendship because there was a small number of student nurses that started. We actually seemed to know everybody, didn't we? All the, a lot of the students and a lot of the yeah. staff. It was like a community. Yeah. This one is in Paddington. Well, the, the back of the nurse's home, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Isn't Here, that hilarious? Like, you're looking really happy. This is my pal, Sue, well, and I'm looking terrified. Uh, my name's Elizabeth. And my name's Sue. And Elizabeth and I met uh, when we first started our nurse training in 1965. Yep. Um, and we were in training school together for three months. I remember why I became friends with you so quickly was that you had a brilliant sense of humour yeah, and you didn't take life mm. as seriously as some people took it uh, and that was my attitude yeah, as well. I thought, yeah. 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 Well for me the reason I chose nursing was that um, I grew up in a children's home until I was nine and I had very bad eczema and there was a nun who just treated it beautifully without causing pain when she changed the dressings and I thought I want to be like her and I discovered later on she was something called a nurse. <laughs> well I I didn't think about nursing initially. I wanted to go to art school and my mother forbade it. So um, I had a very bad car accident when I was 17, went through the windscreen and I was in hospital and, and had to go to a special unit to heal my face basically. And uh, I just thought the nurses there were so wonderful. And I was so young and they really looked after me and I, my mother was a nurse as well, so I thought maybe this is what I will do. I posted the tweet on Sunday morning and I love photography and imagery and I thought, oh, you know, the NHS is coming up to 70. Sue and I are going to be 71 in, in a few days' time, the same week. Wouldn't it be nice? And that's it. And the largest number of likes I think I've ever had is about 200. And I thought, even then, whoa. And it just, it just <laughs> took off, just yeah, it's out of control. Grams go viral, yeah. <laughs> High point for me was the, um, the first bit of the abortion bill, which was in 1967, because I remember one day on the gynae ward and I had two patients. One was a 41-year-old woman who had four children and she'd gone to have a backstreet abortion uh, because she didn't want any more children and they took her down to theatre and she had a cardiac arrest on the operating table. She, she did survive. Then a 17-year-old who, Irish girl, who'd come over also for an abortion and she was so ill that she had to have her uterus, ovaries, everything removed. She had a hysterectomy at 17. The, the worst low for me was at the beginning of my training when um, my first death. Because, yeah. you know, I was 18, never been in London before. Led never a, seen a dead body? No, never seen a dead body. And I, I'd led a very sheltered life. Mm. And um, I, it really shook me, actually, you know. I mean, we were, we were really thrown into it a bit, weren't we? And you had so many stories to tell, you know, whether you'd come off night duty, you had breakfast together, or, as I say, particularly that first year, and then moved into a flat with three other student yes, nurses. Yeah. So you just regale each other with the hilarious things that happened but also things that had upset yeah. you and made yeah. you feel a bit sad. Yeah. Yeah. This lady was from Peggy, she was from Hong Kong, do you remember? Yes, yes. Do you remember her? Kay, yeah. Kay, yeah. Jane. Oh, Jane, yes. The way Jane looked. And through. that was Helen, that was Helen. The yeah. NHS means security to me, yeah. and it means fairness, and I love the history of the NHS. I love how there were battles fought yeah. to get, and you know, there's that expression, the doctor's mouths were stuffed with notes or gold or whatever it was. They had to fight to get yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I, uh, I was quite ill about five years ago, and I was so well looked after. I mean, honestly, it was a nurse-led unit, 
and my outpatient um, therapy was in a nurse-led unit. And I, I really think nurses are much more able to do more. If I had the choice of a different profession, um, I still think I'd do nursing because I've, I've met, I've enjoyed, I enjoyed it and I've met so many fantastic people. No doubt about it, I'd still yeah. choose nursing and I encourage people to come into nursing. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's been the most enjoyable, challenging, but fantastic career. Sometimes fun. Oh, it's been incredibly funny. I mean, come on. <laughs> just, just, talk, just thinking about it. It's, it's, yeah. I, I. There's no other no. career I would have chosen actually. Mm -mm.